Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I'm just sitting here in my robe drinking my morning coffee looking sexy as hell as usual. And for those of you who say I don't look sexy as hell when I do these videos in my robe, nobody cares what you think. I didn't ask you shit. Now, one of the things that comes up all the time and it's not just about me. Everyone goes, oh, Jason, this is just you because you're you're a fat fuck. You're saying this. Well, actually, as of right now, I don't know how anyone would think I'm actually fat. I am under 20% body fat. I'm athletic. I lift weights and I do cardio every day. And I am still cutting to get leaner. So it's not even a case of me justifying anything. It's a case of this silly confusion in the Internet world and particularly the physique world of that someone's aesthetic appearance determines their level of fitness and their body fat percentage does and the reality is while there is a fitness component to body fat percentage it is in isolation not an indicator of someone's overall level of fitness unless it is at the extremes if someone is extremely lean they're not fit contest level bodybuilders are not fit they're not in shape that's the stupidest word to ever use. They're not conditioned. They generally have piss poor conditioning by the time they're at contest level. You don't believe me? Go have them run a marathon and watch what happens. See how far they make it on contest day. They're not in shape. Just like someone who is morbidly obese is obviously not fit. But it's this idea that you can use that to assess it when rather you need to remember that fitness itself is not an aesthetic ideal that's a separate thing an aesthetic appearance is an aesthetic appearance it's not always indicative of your level of fitness fitness is how functional how healthy and how athletic you are that that's what fitness means it is possible for a person to be absurdly fit at 10 percent body fat and for another person to be absurdly fit at 20 percent body fat they can both potentially be ultra elite level athletes who have amazing blood markers who can outlift you, outrun you, outjump you. Almost everyone here listening while being at either one of those body fat percentages. There are plenty of individuals who do it. And there are people even higher than that. If you've ever met any NFL players, there are quite a few NFL players who are over 20% body fat. They can outlift you, outrun you, outjump you, probably even outrun a lot of you in a 5K. And they have amazing blood work and amazing health markers. A lot of people who would say, oh, they're not fit. If they saw them, they have better fitness markers and better health and better athleticism than you do and have probably ever had. So how do you make that distinction if they're 23% body fat? It, it is a poor way to judge it. Now, the thing to remember is that if you're over about 18 or 20% body fat as a male, or over about, you know, 27, 28% as a female. Yes, if you lose a little bit of fat, your health markers will probably improve. Yes, as an athlete, your strength to weight ratios will probably improve if you lose a little bit of body fat. But in all of those cases, it's not going to be dramatic. Someone who's at that level, they're not going to see amazing changes in their blood work if they drop that. Now, if they're 30% body fat as a male or 40% as a female and they go on a diet, yes, their blood work will look like day and night if they lose some weight. It will be dramatically different, irrespective of how athletic they already are. But it doesn't make that big of a difference once you start getting into those ranges. And the same thing, once you start dropping too low, your health markers start declining when you get too lean. So you shouldn't use that as a, as a gauge of fitness or health as long as people are in the normal, within close to the limits of the normal healthy range that's what you would consider to be a fit body fat and you have to factor in the rest of their lifestyle if someone is a smoker who doesn't exercise at all they're probably unfit even if they have a visible six-pack if someone who is just slightly overweight in terms of body fat is very athletic they lift weights they do cardio they eat a good balanced diet they just eat too many calories, odds are their blood work probably looks pretty decent. Is it going to be perfect? No, it's probably not going to be perfect or ideal, but it's probably going to be within the healthy ranges as a result of that. So people need to really get a, a more realistic 
perspective on this rather than using the fact that if someone isn't ripped that they're they're not fit or not in shape it's absurd and very often times the fact of the matter is they are not in shape they're not fit if they're too ripped and too lean all right guys so that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it has been informative and i will talk to you guys next time